Hello and welcome to Thought for August the 19th. Our readings are 1 Kings chapter 14, Jeremiah chapter 40 and Mark chapter 14. And our thought is unbearable news for you. Have you heard of the prophet Ahijah? He plays a small but significant role during the reign of Solomon and also later. First, God sends him to Jeroboam during Solomon's reign to tell him in 1 Kings 11 verses 29 to 39 that he would become king over most of Israel after Solomon's death. God's message to Jeroboam via Ahijah was, If you listen to all I command you, I will be with you and will build you a sure house. Verse 38. Ahijah's words came true, and this should have influenced Jeroboam when he became king of the breakaway northern tribes of Israel after Solomon's death. But he used human wisdom to try to ensure the people remained loyal to him. He feared that if they went up to the temple in Jerusalem to worship, their loyalty to him would be undermined. To prevent this, he set up two places of worship in the northern kingdom, where he made golden calves and said these were the gods that had brought them out of Egypt long ago. He also appointed priests, who were not Levites, to administer the sacrifices. Worse still, he even offered sacrifices himself on the feast days. We read yesterday in chapter 13 verse 1 that a man of God came to prophesy against Jeroboam's altar and said what was to happen there in the future. Now Jeroboam's son, an heir, fell sick and he knew it was no good going to any of his priests or local prophets. So, we read today, he sent his wife disguised to see the prophet Ahijah. The Lord told Ahijah she was coming, and as she came in, he cried out, I am charged with unbearable news for you. Chapter 14, verse 6. The first part of the news was condemnation on Jeroboam and his descendants because of his failure to serve God in the right way. The second that the child would die as she got home. Surely we can see a parallel in these events with today. The present generation has become totally unfaithful to the word of God. 500 years ago, when the Bible was first printed and available to the great majority to read, it transformed the way many people thought and caused a reformation. If God sent a prophet today, his message would be something like, I am charged with unbearable news for the whole earth. And this makes us think about the kind of message we should give, especially our personal message to neighbours and workmates. Maybe something like this. The world is doomed. There is only one way to live and have expectation of a future, by the will of God. Oh, there will be one here and one there that will not scoff and the seed will take root. Well, thank you once again for joining us for Thought for the Day, where together we can open up the pages of God's Word, knowing that Word to be a lamp to our feet and a light to our path.